Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it's interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, nice strike landed there by Sean O'Malley. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight punch. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Aldo's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch is good. Oh, nice. Big kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Aldo. Nice punch here. It's a nice punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, big left! Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands the right hand. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Another Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. 
before he can even defend. He's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you the fight. You gotta fight. defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Aldo gets back up, back into his comfort zone. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And that one was heavy. An uppercut landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Going orthodox now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. O'Malley's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Aldo gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Just out of range with that uppercut. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Aldo. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, straight right. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Aldo gets crushed with that hook. Nice. Just misses with the right hook. Swing and a big miss by Sean O'Malley. Oh, 
Oh, that right hand is on point. Aldo's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Big kick lands. He misses with the right hand. Oh, a combination of lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Ooh, big shot lands. Aldo gets the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Aldo gets caught by that straight. Oh! Who's hurt? Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. We need this takedown. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill.